press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. what's going on guys welcome back to jamaican entertainment in this video i'm going to be doing an honest review of sea gardens beach resort in montego bay uh, so me and my girlfriend went there we spent two nights and i just wanted to give you my honest review of the property and what to expect when you go there obviously you clicked on this video because you wanted to know what it's like there before you actually go there so if you enjoy this type of content don't forget to give the video a thumbs up also leave a comment down below let me know what you think of the review and with that being said let's jump right into it so i'm gonna break this up into three categories kind of the same way i did the bahia principi resort into food amenities as well as customer service so let's start off with the food i'm gonna be honest with you the food was not all that it was not all that. I remember watching a video of this girl that was talking about it and saying that the food was not all that. And to be honest with you, she was right. You know, the food was not all that. We came on day one, we arrived at about 11.30 and we couldn't get a room until three. So we arrived for lunch. Um, lunch is at 12, dinner is at seven and breakfast is at 7 a.m. So breakfast 7 a.m. to 10 lunch 12 to 2 and dinner 7 to 10 right and you can also get food over by the beach side but on our first day it was there was not a lot of variety it was just three different things that you could eat um, the food tastes really bland I don't know if they think the people that come from America or across the world is diabetic I don't know but the food just tasted bland you know um lunch tasted bland all right so later on in the day we had dinner dinner had a little bit more variety just a little bit more but i i did enjoy the lamb stew you know i enjoyed the corn um fruits was there as well but to be honest with you it, there was just not a lot of variety you know and the food just tastes pretty bland to me you know um moving on to over by the beach side um there's a restaurant over by the beach um there's like jerk pork jerk chicken my girlfriend <laughs> my girlfriend said the jerk chicken tastes like rubber i you know but um it, it the, the 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 jerk chicken tasted bland the drinks are amazing that much i will say i love the drinks there all the drinks are amazing but the jerk pork, it just tasted a little bit bland to me. Um, my girlfriend said the jerk chicken tastes like rubber. But um, the fries was okay, I guess. But to be honest with you, I've been to Bahia Principe and I've experienced what they had to offer in terms of food. So compared to that, this is just not, doesn't work out for me. So the food was not that great over there by the beach as well. On the second day, you know, breakfast, there was a little bit more variety with breakfast. Um, lunch, there was a little bit. It was it, it was like a slow and steady improvement with each day. So lunch on the second day was a little bit better with the variety, but the food just doesn't taste that great. You know what I mean? But it was okay. You know, then in the night when we had dinner, I don't know what was going on. I don't know if they were storing some of the food for, for Saturday night, but there was way more variety on the second night. There was seafood came out, you know, cakes came out, cheesecakes came out. You know, um, there was a lot more variety on the second day, you know, and I, I even asked the lady that was serving the food. I was like, where the hell was this food yesterday? What was going on? Even somebody that was staying at the resort walked past and heard me. She was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so the place is really lacking variety when it comes to food, you know, but on the second night, there was a lot more variety. You know, still not nothing compared to like a Bahia Principe, you know, but the, the variety was there. The sweets, the, the, the cakes tasted great. 
you know the cheesecake was garbage i'm gonna tell you right now i i i'm a cheesecake lover the cheesecake is 100 percent garbage all right um the food tasted a little bit better but it overall the food was just not that great to be honest it looks good but when you taste it it's just not that great so overall in terms of food um i'm gonna be honest with you and give it a six out of ten for me you know my girlfriend said the same thing she said it's a six out of ten as well you know but um that's it for food so if you come here expect that the food won't be that great you know and it's lacking variety all right moving on to amenities so there is a gym there you can go into the gym it's a pretty small gym not a lot of equipments but they do have a lot of treadmills in there i don't know what's going on with treadmills but i'm guessing that you know when you when you come to this resort you're gonna eat a lot and you're gonna want to work run it off or run on the treadmill for a few hours i don't know but the gym is there it's not it's not bad you know um the only drawback i i don't like with the gym is that there's no trainer in there you know you're kind of going in there at your own risk you know if you hurt yourself if you don't know what you're doing you know is it it's basically on you you know but my advice um if you're going in there just be safe you know watch youtube videos on how to do certain exercises and you'll be perfectly fine you know the sanitization is top notch it's there by the door when you go in when you're going out you know it's pretty standard gym you know but there's a lot of treadmills in there man a lot of treadmills moving on there is a games room beside the gym but it's closed down um i'm i'm guessing it's due to the pandemic i don't know but it's closed down the, you know little table tennis little snorkeling stuff i don't know what that's called that's there but it's closed down so you won't have access to that at least when i was there you know moving on there is a tennis court you know you have to pay for that as well you don't have to pay for the gym the gym is free but to play tennis you have to pay for that you're probably seeing the prices and everything on screen right now um but the tennis tennis is there tennis court is there if you want to play some tennis um the jacuzzi is closed guys i know you're probably saying oh my god i can't wait to get into the jacuzzi yeah no mm -mm. the jacuzzi is closed they said it's due to the pandemic so you won't be able to access the jacuzzi which sucks but yeah it is what it is moving on if you go across the street you will see that they have snorkeling they have scuba diving they have all of those things um, but let me just put it really simple for you guys as what the guy told me when I went over there He said anything that has a motor attached to it It's gonna come at a cost if it doesn't have a motor attached to it. It's free All right, so you can go to canoeing you can do all of that But once you want an activity that has a motor attached to the boat and you know the boats motor needs gas <laughs> you know so it's gonna come at a cost but entertainment is definitely over there if you come with the money you know you can definitely go over by the beach side speak to the guys on the right hand side of the beach just go through the little corridor go over there and speak with them so there's a lot of activities there you can do but anything that has a motor comes at a cost all right um so that's pretty much it for the amenities we have the gym we have tennis and they also have boat rides and stuff like that so in regards to that amenities i'd give it a solid eight out of ten you know there's there's quite a lot of things you can do over there i'd give it an eight out of ten to be honest with you moving on to customer service um i was watching the same video with this girl talking about sea garden and I understand where she's coming from there's this guy there's people over by the beach that sells the jerk food you know over by a little bar where they do all the jerking and stuff they kind of have a little attitude I'm gonna be honest you know the girl was saying the same thing the review that I watched they kind of have a little attitude for real you know um, I don't know maybe they, the, the guy was having a bad day you know but I, I really didn't like their attitude you know but um it was it was fairly okay and take it from me i work in customer service for five years i'm still working customer service so i know 
exceptional customer service when I see it. And I know garbage customer service when I see it, right? So over by the beach side, um, customer service kind of made poor to me. I would give the customer service over by the beach. I would give it a five out of 10, to be honest with the customer service over there. Um, the guys over by where the amenities are, they were pretty cool. I would give them a 10 out of 10. Um, customer service over by the resort side, when we're going to our rooms, when they're helping us with getting food, I'd give it a, I'd give it an eight. I'd give it a, yeah, I, I think it's fair to say eight out of 10. There was this one girl that was serving food, you know, when they was, when they're serving the food, they, they don't smile, you know, they just give you the food they don't say things like hey thank you for coming what would you like awesome here you go enjoy your meal okay you know they don't do that they just give you the food and have a little smirk on their face you know like they don't want to be there or whatever but overall i would give the customer service for the entire property i would give it a seven out of ten and the reason why I'm giving it a 7 out of 10 is it's because of the people over by the beach that jerk the food. So Sea Gardens, if you're watching this video, if you happen to come across this video, y'all need to talk to those those people over by the, the, the beach, man. You know, give them a little pep talk. Let them know what customer service really is. Put a smile on their face. Welcome to Sea Garden. What would you like? Would you like our fame, world famous jerk chicken? Would you like our world famous jerk pork? And you, you know what I mean. Um, the guy over there that was playing um, uh, uh, an activity where you have to answer some trivia questions to win a prize. I actually won a bracelet. You know, that was nice. That was really cool. That was a fun amenity in a sense. You know, but um, that's pretty much it for me in this review. To be honest with you, overall... I would give the entire property if i was to give this property an overall score in terms of food amenities and customer service i'd give it a, a, a 6.5 out of 10 right my girlfriend says if it, it she feels like this property is like this resort is more family oriented so if you have a small family you know you don't have a lot of money to go to like a bahia principi or a, or a Ibera star, you can definitely come here with your family and enjoy yourself at little to no cost. You know, it's a very cheap, it's it's a reasonable resort. Um, if you don't have that big money, you can definitely come here and enjoy yourself. So my purse overall rating for the property and what it has to offer is 6.5 out of 10. That was basically it for me. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more. I'm going to have two more videos coming out, one on the room. I'm going to give you a tour of the room and another I'm going to give you an entire walkthrough of Sea Garden Beach Resort property. Be subscribed for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.